Coming up in Strasbourg next week in the last plenary session before the summer break, the big issues of the day. TTIP, a new effort to forge political unity. Greece, a full debate with Commission and Council leaders. Financing solutions to the migration crisis, the circular economy, copyright law and fighting tax evasion in the developing world. What is the circular economy? It's one of Europe's current buzz themes and it's basically the opposite of the linear economic model that everybody uses today that's so wasteful, the make, use and dispose model. Going circular minimizes waste and extracts maximum value from the resources we use. Sounds kind of utopian in today's consumer-led world. Well, MEPs don't think so. On Monday, they'll be debating next steps towards efficient use of resources. A country of 11 million rarely off people's lips with intractable debt problems, Greece. MEPs will debate latest developments in this fast-moving story with two leaders at the heart of the talks. Jean-Claude Juncker, President of the European Commission and Donald Tusk, President of the European Council. Following June's agreement on managing Europe's migration crisis, MEPs are putting their money where their mouths are, preparing to release 75.8 million euros to Europe's border agency, Frontex, for more aerial and maritime surveillance and to help member states hardest hit, like Greece and Italy. Around 2,000 people have perished in the Mediterranean this year. Also coming up next week, debates on the end of Latvia's presidency of the EU and the start of Luxembourg's one. On Monday, there will be a debate on door-to-door -door single ticketing by any transport means with a vote the next day. The same day, there will be a commemoration of the massacre of Srebrenica, where around 6,000, mostly men and boys, were slaughtered in the Bosnian War. On Wednesday, it's tax evasion in developing countries, many of which receive EU development aid. And the same day, a debate on the upgrade of copyright legislation. MEPs will try to remove obstacles in the transatlantic trade and investment partnership between the EU and the US. It's been mired in controversy over the investor-state dispute settlement mechanism, which, according to opponents, would allow powerful corporations to sue governments if they felt their interests were unfairly threatened. A debate and a vote were pulled from the June plenary but have been reinstated on Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's it. Enjoy the week.